Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. This evening I'm looking at a book which has come in from LexisNexis uh, Tolly. We've uh, reviewed this book before, so it's something that we are familiar with. It's called Tolly's UK Taxation of Trusts, this book here. It's now in the 22nd edition and it's been written by Matthew Hutton. It's uh, a book that we think is very, very useful in this particular area of all. Let me show you the book first of all. That's the front cover, and then there's the back cover itself. The book has a very useful index right at the front. Then it goes into a very large amount of case law. And then what you have after that is very useful paragraph numbering at the sides there, and useful headings so you can find things quite quickly. Um, the actual, let's show you a chapter heading, the actual um, book itself tries very hard to give very up-to-date information in important areas. There are no, uh, there are some useful examples, for instance, of, of what is currently happening in the air, various areas co uh, concerned. There's the index at the back as well, and there are some useful, uh, important um, appendices there which you can see. Now very useful comments have been made about the book. We've written another review about it and we've given it the title The Definitive and Preferred uh, Guide to Onshore and Offshore Trusts now in the latest edition from Tollies. And what we say in very simple terms, this is only a sh short video, is if you're a lawyer or accountant or other variety of tax advisor on the matter of trusts, both onshore and offshore, it would be unthinkable not to acquire a copy of the new 22nd edition of Tolly's UK Taxation of Trusts. It's been fully revised and updated, which is to be expected, and it encompasses all the legislative developments and practice issues that have emerged since the 21st edition was published. And this is obviously something that's now becoming more of a, an annual publication. In the author Matthew Hutton's words, the book explains the UK taxes to which trusts, whether resident in or outside the UK, can be liable. And that obviously is a, a very important area for many people today. Tax mitigation may not be the driving force, he says, but tax implications which, for example, inform decisions regarding the adoption or continuation of a particular type of trust are covered in detail. I think it's quite important to bear that in mind because you just have to pick up a newspaper today and this in information is always um, in the news. Now we've given in the review quite substantial details about what's in the book itself. The new material for 2012-13, which is this particular edition, reflects all new developments since the previous year to be expected. It includes decided cases and compliance issues in particular. Also included is the proposed comprehensive statutory test for residents in 2013-14 and there's a great deal more. To therefore summarise we say it's a treasure trove of clear and clearly accessible advice on what is often a bewildering subject and a useful research tool as well with its extensive table of cases which I showed you earlier plus the statutes and statutory instruments. There are no less than six appendices, and I showed some of, uh, some of them, one of the two of them at the back, to cover much more important, very hands-on information like HMRC documents, statements and press releases and so forth. Fourth, changes to the law have been taken into account as of and up to July 2012. So it makes this edition one of the most reliable and current statements available to date on the taxation of trusts. Thank you again to Tollies and to Matthew Hutton for an excellent uh, new edition. Bye-bye.